everyone, my name is Selva. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing well and having such a great day. So today we are going to do a tour overview of my Oasis Spring save file and I'm very thrilled to share it with you. It's been such a long journey for me to create each lot and each household and it's finally here. And before I start, I want to apologize if you heard some like thunderstorm sounds on the back because it is thunderstorming outside and I don't understand why because like two minutes before I hit the record button, it was like very, very hot. It's very sunny and suddenly it's very dark outside even though it's just like three in the afternoon but that won't stop us to tour this together. So I will have a timestamps on the description box below as a guidance. So if you'd like to skip some parts, I got you covered. Without any further ado, let's just hop right into it. So once you click the download button on the description box below, it will bring you to this blog post, which is the coffee blog post. And it has every single information of the save file. So, um, but a little sneak peek um, we have here, so this is going to be the world and you can see that I filled everything in with um, the builds, like brand new builds and also brand new households and I have a little tutorial on how to download the save file. Um, if you're still unsure about this and kind of um, get confused, I have a tutorial on my new cry save file which I will link it on the description box below for you to check out and it can act as your guidance to download the save and place it onto your game and um, before I totally forget again it's not going to be like an exclusive save file for Oasis Springs even though I built the Oasis Springs only so how it works is it is going to be like a compilation between like a mega save file, a compilation from my previous save files up until the most current one. So for now, it's going to be Newcrest, Moonwood Mill, and Oasis Springs because those three worlds are the worlds that I have refamed. So um, it's not going to be like an individual save file for Oasis Springs only. But um, this is the download link for the saves and it'll bring it to same file share. And um, I have everything here, so it's um, basically downloaded. But if you don't get like auto download, simply click the link and it will bring you to SIM file share. It will look like this, like exactly like this. And you just have to hit the download button. So um, once you save it into your save folder, you can safely uh, close the windows. One more thing before we hop on to the game. Um, I have to mention this, but if you don't play on PC and your console players, um, I got you covered because because if you scroll down the blog post, it'll have corresponding um, build download with uh, the link for the gallery download link as well as the household download link and the speed build link. So everything is linked here. Um, if it's a like community lot, it doesn't have household download link. But if it's a if it's a house, it will have like their corresponding household download link from the website gallery so um that's it we're just going to open up my game and i'll see you there okay we're in game now and as you can tell that this is the main menu so all you need to do is just press the load game and once you see the plummy sims mega save file over here that means you're good to go and we just have to press the play button but if you'd like to you know like uh, don't want to interfere with the current save that I have um, you can maybe save as this as I don't know like a new name maybe like legacy challenge or like team place or something anything like that uh, anything that you want but I have my sim self uh, live in one of the star house in Willow Creek because it's going to be the next world that I'm going to revamp but since it's an Oasis Springs save file, we're going to move on to Oasis Springs. And this is how it looks like. So this is the world. As you can tell that I have revamped every single lot. And we're going to do a tour in just a little bit. But um, I'm going to show you some households that I've created. And actually, this is my first ever creating households. I mean, for my save file, I've created some um, sims of course in the past but it's just for my own gameplay and they just don't have much depth into it like don't have many background stories so if you'd like to change some of them or all of them 
you do you it's totally fine and i will highly appreciate if you have some feedbacks on the household and also the um bells um just to let me know what you think of them um this is the world and we have several different like neighborhoods here we have the very fancy neighborhood over here on the top part of the map we have more like family and kind of modern type of um neighborhood here we have the whole community lots row we have the park of course we have like more slightly more humble mid-century modern type of a uh, neighborhood and we have the kind of like a mediterranean type of neighborhood so i kind of uh, mix between styles here so if you have any suggestion on what i should do next simply to let me know but um we're going to do a little tour here so i did change some of the lot names and i give them some um like traits uh maybe like the um not trade something like that and they have background story so i'm not going to do very in-depth with the sims and we're just going to do like a little tour so you can still explore it yourself and you can check them out yourself so it's going to have some element of surprise so we're going to do start from here the st james house we're going to do this one um this this area next this one this one and the last will be the aussie springs park but um without any further ado let's just hop right into it okay so we're in saint james's house here the father oliver is where is he let me see where is he oh he's in the back okay we have oliver here he's the father we have katrina um which is the mother where are you oh there you are we have katrina and we have um their two sons which is joe um the younger brother this is his room and we have ray the older brother this is his bedroom and um this is the house so um we have the living space here we have the laundry room we have the kitchen and slightly like smaller dining area um we have guest bedroom a bathroom like a full bathroom and on the second floor we have the balcony here the what is this the bathroom we have two bedrooms for the kids we have the parents bedroom and the master bathroom and on the very top level we have like a like a creative room so um this is kind of like a hangout spot and you can play ping pong here and on the back we have the pool we have some lounges some dining spots and that's it for the house and um we're going to move on to the neighbor's house which is the land grabs okay so we're in uh land grabs house and um this is the house this is what they deserve it's a huge house i would say we have a row of cars here and once you enter the house you will see the entryway of course and it will bring you to the upstairs it has a stairs and this is the living space we have a piano we have the game room which is really cool we have a bathroom for um the family of course and we have an office for jeffrey and um it has like a secret stairs to the basement and once you go downstairs um you will see a bar like a very simple bar um we have kind of like lounge area we have a powder room we have a cinema room which is really suitable for the family as well as a bowling alley and um we have a private office of nancy so this is her office she has her own um private bath and of course the fold which is important for this family and um on this area we have the kitchen we have the dining of course and it's going to be like uh the family kitchen because we have another kitchen over here and it's for the butler so maybe they have multiple butlers and they can cook here and we have um the butler's area here so i know it's a bit too big but you can change them yourself we have a bath for the butler and we have another bathroom because i think it's kind of important to have a bathroom that can be accessible from the backyard and on the back we have outdoor dining and we have lounge and that's basically 
the backyard and on the very top floor we have Malcolm's bedroom we have a Jack and Jill bathroom um, that is a sharing bathroom with the guest bedroom and this is a landing area so huge and we have a gym and we have a huge bedroom for both Nancy and Jeffrey and they have their own private baths so Nancy has this bathroom and Jeffrey has this bathroom and that's the build I believe yeah that's the build so um, this is going to be it for this house and we're going to move on to the other neighborhood okay so this is the Liz family house we have Audrina Lee which is the mother oops she's here um, this is she and um, we have Audrina Lee which is a single mother and she's uh, like an influencer sort of thing and her kids are twins so we have Stella Lee um, they're both at school because it's um, 12 in the afternoon and um, also Kevin so they are twin um, siblings and okay that's better so once you enter the house is the the entryway and we have the living space here which is really nice really fancy and this is the staircase and we have um, like the office we have um, powder room slash laundry and on this area we have the kitchen and the dining and on the upstairs we have um, this landing and it has a balcony and over here we have a bathroom for the kids and Audrina has her own bedroom and her own bathroom because she deserves this and um, on this wing over here we have the kids bedroom so this one is Stella's bedroom and this one is Kevin's and they both share a balcony which is really cool but Kevin has an extra balcony because why not and on the back we have we have a pool which is really cool and a little pond so this house is on still Audrina herself has her own um, balcony and I think it's kind of appropriate to have a yoga mat and that's the build so um, we're going to move on to the uh, house next door which is this one over here Okay, so we're in Fujiwara's house and this is the house. This is the house of a family of three. So we have the mother, which is Dimitri, and this is her. Um, we have the father, which is Kenji, he is a chef. And we have Megumi, which is really sweet person or Sims. But um, once you enter the house, you will see the living space. It's very small, but it's really cute we have the kitchen uh, we have the dining and we have a little uh, bath over here and upstairs we have Megumi's bedroom which is really cute and nice um, we have a bathroom this is a shared bathroom between the parents and Megumi and we have the bedroom for the parents and on the very top level we have the entertainment room which I think really cool and we have a little balcony and on the back we have um, a little pool and this is the backyard so we have a dining outdoor dining and a lounge and that's basically it so we're going to move on to the lot next door which is a restaurant okay so we're in the restaurant lot it's a fancy restaurant and i did give this uh kind of like a, an up and coming hotspot um so um i don't know why but every single time i play with a new restaurant i had to reselect the outfits so i did everything when i uh built this but it kept resetting so i have to change them back so we have the custom menu so it's going to be like a very fancy restaurant and the build itself is very small so once you enter the build you will oops sorry you will see this is the host area and um we have the dining over here I'm so sorry I'm so bad with editing my camera but this is the dining we have the bathroom here and we have the stuff kind of like a space here it's kind of hidden and we have um, the kitchen which is really nice and professional and on the upstairs we have the 
dining more dining because why not and we have a little bath and on the very top we have more dining space but this is slightly fancier and we have a lounge and we have also like a like a bar over here and of course two baths or toilets to be exact but that's it and um you need to wear your formal outfits here because that's what i set the dress code to be but um that's it for the belt we're going to move on to the lot across the belt which is a spa and it's this one over here this is the spa and i am very proud of this build i think if i had to pick one build for this safe file the whole safe file it will be this this is the spa once you enter the build you will see the front office so you can i don't know maybe like book your treatment here we have um the locker room and we have this kind of like a bar situation so i did put some or a fridge here but um this is the what is this meditation room and i love the vibe of this room so much it looks really cool on the upstairs we have the yoga area and on the other wing we have a nail room we have um the showers over here and we have the toilet over here and of course it's not a spa without a sauna so i did put one and on the upstairs we have a massage room it looks like this and we have two more private baths so um that's for the interior and on the outside on the back we have a pool which is really nice and this is the build this is the uh, oasis day spa and i think this is the last build for this neighborhood so we'll moving on to the next neighborhood in just a little bit this is the cafe and i think it looks really, really kind of industrial in a way because we have the skate ring on the back and i think this place will be perfect for like younger sims and that's why i chose this kind of like industrial vibe and this is a cafe but um once you enter the build you will see the barista area and all of the barista can go to this area from the back so we have like a secret door here and um this is the bar and um all of the barista can go from the back this is the um dining area or the seating area and it looks really cool i think it looks really nice and uh, we have this kind of like a condiment area i'm not sure what to call this and we have a toilet here we have um like a i don't know what to call this but this um working like co-working area we have an outdoor space and on the back we have like a little place for the i don't know university students maybe they hang up here after class and uh we have more tanning spot upstairs so it will look really cool at night um and that's it for the build it's very simple but we're going to move on to the next lot which is next door and it's going to be like a wedding venue okay so this is the wedding venue and um let me bring you inside so um this is the kind of like an entryway and we have the whoops sorry <laughs> this is the uh toilet so we have both um on the side and this is the wedding area so it looks really i don't know it looks very romantic i would say very it's very simple we have a piano here of course this is the wedding arch and um we have the reception area here so we have the dance floor over here and of course we need a bouquet or not bouquet what is this basically this table um but that's it for the build it's very simple it's just one floor but um this is the wedding venue and we're going to move on next to the build next door this is a gym and a pool this is a base game only uh, gym and pool but um this is how it looks like from the front and once you enter the build you will see uh, this over here which is the front office and we have the kind of like a seating area maybe you can have a chit chat with your trainers and uh, we have the treadmill spot here this is the bathroom so it is like a kind of like a public bathroom so you can see we have the locker here and this is the showers and uh the toilet and we have two sinks and um on the upstairs we have 
the bodybuilding area so we have the boxing thing and this is a fake yoga studio but if you have a um, spa day it will act like a yoga room maybe something like that and on the back we have the pool but this is the back and this is the pool so i think that's it for the build we're going to move on to the last lot for this neighborhood and it's going to be like a bowling alley okay so this is oasis bowling and it's a bowling alley and this is my first ever bowling build and it's a really small build but it is actually a bar and um this is the bar area and it's kind of fun and eccentric and um we have the um dining area or seating area over here and this is the bowling area it looks really fun and kind of tins like but um we have some like outdoor seating um on the side and that's it for the area this is for the build so we're going to move on to the next neighborhood which will be the more mid-century modern neighborhood and i'll see you in just a little bit this is a mid-century modern neighborhood as you can tell um uh, let's just do a little sneak peek but this is the ives family's house and um it looks like this and okay so once you enter the house you can see um this is the the entryway and we have a, a little like dining area and um over here whoops we have the living space it's kind of unmatchy which i love and we have a piano i mean it's kind of like a fake piano but it's a piano and we have the kitchen over here we have like a laundry slash powder room area and this is the bedroom so on this one uh, we have the parents bedroom which is Darius and um, Melissa and they are high school sweethearts they've been together for quite a while and um, they shared a Jack and Jill bathroom so um, both bedrooms has access to this bathroom and this is Dawn and she has the cutest bedroom ever on the back we have a huge backyard um so don is here and we have a little pool we have uh like a an outdoor dining why it's here um but we have lounge and that's it for um the house so we're going to move on next to this house okay apologize if the lighting is a bit different that's because i don't bring any sim here but um this is a starter house and it's kind of like an unfurnished one so it's empty but it has the kitchen it has the bathroom but it's just an unfurnished one so if you have some sims you'd like to i don't know maybe like basically you need a house that is kind of like a almost furnished um you can use this one i suppose but i will do something like this for my future safe files because i think it's really fun and it kind of like you know like bring the creativity of yours to this house and that's basically the build i'm so sorry this is just like a couple seconds long but we're going to move on next to this lot so this is a library and it's kind of like a really fun library and um this is the build so you can see it all at once so um we have the lounge we have the reading area we have the like pc area i suppose this is the whole build and we have the toilet here it, i mean the toilet even has a bookcase and this is the back so we have uh it's not a huge telescope but it is a telescope and i'm not sure why she's here judith i don't know why you judith flex that's messed up but um but anyway uh, we have a telescope here and i think that's it that's for the build so um we're going to move on to this lot and uh, it's going to be a family house okay so this is the imamu's family house and it's supposed to be a bit older looking and that's why we have this kind of like a very bright red color on the outside and and he's a single father and his daughter is Ola and um, this is the entry way and you can see this is the kitchen um, this is the living space so we have um, him here we have very vintage set which I love and we have um, the dining area we have this bedroom which is his bedroom it's kind of like a a bit curly but I think that's because he just got divorced and uh, we have Ola's room. It's so adorable. I love Ola so much. And um, we have 
um, like the laundry area and it's kind of like an like a side entrance and a full bath so we have two baths here this one and this one over here okay so on the back we have a pool yeah that's basically it this is the back and this is Ola but um, that's the belt so we're going to move on next to the lot over here on the right and it's going to be the last one for this neighborhood so we're in the Lads family house and this is the build I actually built this at least a year ago so it's going to be like a very old build but I love this build so much and Glenn which is the father has a new um, girlfriend I suppose and it's Avery so they're they're not married yet but they're very close and they live together with um, Glenn's sons which is Oliver or which are Oliver and Devin they're not um, twins but they're very close in age and this is the house so once you enter the house you will see the dining and um, this is the dining and we have the kitchen over here um, and this is his bedroom and um, over here we have the parents bedroom or Glenn's and Avery's bedroom and this is um, their bathroom so it's very white and clean looking and on the other wing we have um, this bedroom which is Devin's it has guitar because I thought he's into music or something like that and this is the living space um, we have another bath here so this is a, a shower area we have another power room because why not and we have a laundry area here so um that's the house and on the back we have a pool that's it for the build so we're going to move on next to the other neighborhood and i'll see you in just a bit okay so we're in the mediterranean neighborhood and it is a um starter house so even though it's a starter house we have a pool a fancy pool but um as you can tell that um, it's a star house as I mentioned it's so small but we have the living kitchen dining area over here and uh, we have a little PC here because why not and we have the bedroom and bathroom is here so this is the bathroom and this is the bedroom and on the back we have small um, like porch and like back garden and um, this is it that's the build this one is fully furnished not like the other one but um, we're going to move on next over here to this house okay so we're in this house and this is a townhouse so we have a full house because we have two families kind of two families lived here so um on the first house we have Garcia's family and it has six sims it consists of six sims and this is the living space uh, we have an elder which is the grandparents uh, his Andrew and we have his bedroom over here because he's kind of old and we have the kitchen and dining here this is the kitchen very small kitchen and we have a bathroom we have an office space because it's kind of needed and that's for the uh, downstairs of the first house and upstairs we have three bedrooms so we have uh, this is the parents bedroom they have a master bathroom and we have two more bedrooms so this is Luna's bedroom so she has her own keyboard and I think it looks really adorable and kind of cluttered and cozy and um, over here we have a shared bedroom for the kids um, this is the bedroom that's shared by Leo and Lisa and that's um, the upstairs and on the back we have um, oh this is Amira I love her we have uh, the backyard so I know it's kind of small but it serves the purpose and that's for the first house and for the second house um, it's lived by two best friends I suppose so um, this is the living space so we have a toilet here and we have we have the powder room oh no this is the laundry and um, we have the kitchen slash dining here so small and upstairs we have two bedrooms and one bathroom so this is um this is esther and she is a art critic i believe and the other one is uh amira and i think she's an art critic and i think that's it for the house so we're going to move on to the lot next door 
Okay, so this is Khan's family house and this is a small house. It's a 30 by 20 lot, I think. And it is a family of four, I think. I hope I'm right. Yeah, family of four. And um, once you enter the house, this is the living space. So we have Felipe, I think. Yeah, we have Felipe and um, Tristan. And they bought siblings and we have the kitchen and dining over here um they share a bedroom here felipe and tristan share the bedroom and we have a bathroom here very small bathroom um and upstairs we have the parents bedroom we have sophia which is the mother and uh we have akash but this is their bedroom and they have their own bathroom here and that's it for this uh build and i think this is going to be the last house for the save file so we're going to do three more builds and they're going to be the community lots oh i forgot to mention the back but this is the backyard very small but um but we're going to move on next okay so we're in a museum lot and this is El Hadara cultural museum and this is the belt so it has this kind of like uh, middle east vibe I would say um, this is a museum so it's going to be a bit boring I tried to make it not too boring but it looks like this so um, we have some arts and this is the um, the toilet here the bathroom but um, on the upstairs we have the piano so i thought it's going to be like an installation we have the um, easels because maybe they have this kind of like a painting class on the weekends and we have the sculptural table so if you need to level up your handiness skill you can go here and use this um, woodworking tables and um yeah i think that's it for the build it's very simple and it looks like this so we're going to move on next to oh this one over here okay so this is the bubbly beers and boba bar i think so it's a bar and it has two bars actually so um once you enter the build over here on the downstairs you will see like a traditional bar with some seatings and a bar of course we have a dance floor because why not and we have kind of like a lounge area and this is the um bathroom on the back we have some more like um sitting space so it looks really nice and cozy and um the second floor though we have a boba bar for the kids and teens so um you have to hire a vendor first before you can you know like order some bobas but that's just how it works and it's so adorable it's very fun and very i don't know like bright like teens like and we have two more areas for um the seating space so we have front over here the front part and we have the back so it's kind of like a two-in-one bar so it can fit for um many age group but that's it for the bar and we're going to move on next to the last build um just a park okay so this is the last lot i'm gonna cheat my sim self a bit um but this is the park and it looks like this so it has several different activities so we have the jungle gym for the kids we have the toilet here let me just okay we have the toilet here we have the kind of like a seating space we have the um kids tower i would say because it's so adorable for kids we have the telescope and we have a pond so maybe your fishing enthusiast sims can fish something here and we have uh like the picnic area we have this one this is uh you always need to hire a vendor and we have the greenhouse let me show you we have the greenhouse and why are you sleeping here don i don't understand but um this is the greenhouse and i love this so much and um this is the kind of like a information center i mean it doesn't work like that but it acts like that in real life but that's it for the build so this is going to be the last build of mine and i'm going to bring you back to the map view and we're going to wrap this up okay so we're basically done touring all of the builds and i hope you have great time touring this save file with me and i don't know if i've mentioned this but next one will be willow creek and it's going to be a base game only save file but i'll have two save files for a willow creek it's going to be like 
for Willow Creek only and Willow Creek and completion with my uh, previous save files and um, do let me know what you think of the save file and the bills and also the households and and I think for Willow Creek I will ask some of you to help me um, make over the sims the like EA sims so it's going to be uh, kind of like an updated one and do let me know what you think of that because I will be more than happy to you know like collaborate with you and working together with you but um, I think that's it I really hope you find this video and the save file inspiring and also the builds useful to your game and if you do please make sure to hit a thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to you can also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video and I am truly sorry if I have any weird background noises it's just very loud here it's very thunderstorming and there were so many motorcycles going past through my house so i am truly sorry for that and i also am sorry if i rambles too much but yeah i think that's it i'm going to go now thank you so much for spending your time with me and having me i really hope you have the best time of your day and i'll see you in the next video bye